Hi everyone, and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. We are in the shack in the junkyard. Rachel has brought us some, uh, a mystery bag to take a look at, uh, full of stuff for our new life. Because it sounds like Enough we're not going home for a while, so Bag time. we will do that in a moment. First things first, let's hang up the dartboard, because hopefully there's some darts that we can play. Well, not play, but, you know. It'll do. It'll do. Not by much, but it'll do. Alright, let's uh, hang the tapestry. see what's on it ah oh, elephant it's time to talk about the elephant in the room this elephant fucking rules yeah it does that's pretty cool let's take a look at the wall enough oh, messing around. time for a bit of graffiti it's bag time in a minute. Cannon wall. So we need to get Rachel's. Oh, so we've got another journal entry. Let's take a look at that. Uh, where are we? Oh, so it's just that. Oh, we're doing all right this time. We've got all four. We need a shopping list. Okay, we have a message that we need to read from Mikey. Uh, let's take a look. Here we go. Ah, I heard, heard you got expelled. Sorry. Yeah, I rolled a one against Wells. Get it? <laughs> Steph says you're a nerd. <laughs> oh, says Steph. Yeah, okay. All right, let's check out the bag. See what's in here. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. Oh, so can we try things on? We can. Let's take a look. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Raven hair. What else? Tarot tower. Rorschach skull. However, it's uh, pronounced bonus outfits. Bird skull. Uh, okay. Oh, I uh, didn't want to try that on, actually. I wanted to come out of it, but hey. No, definitely not. Not quite Chloe for me. I think I'm going to have a look at this raven hair. That looks pretty cool. Oh, yes. I think we're going to go with that. I think we're going to rock that for a while. Why not? Looks good to me. I like that. Oh, message from Frank. All right, let's take a look at this. I'm at the junkyard now. Oh. oh. Okay. All right, Frank. So let's head out. I think we've done everything here. In here for now. Oh. Let's have a look at the sign, eh? Oh, prop it up. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here to take a look at. So, oh, we can take a look at the sign now. <laughs> the cutting edge in junkyard security technology. <laughs> yeah, a wrong way sign. Okay, let's go and talk to Frank. 
Oh, A to leave, okay. Can't just walk out. Oh, hello. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Who the weird. hell is she? Yeah, weird. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. She also had that rather uh, dodgy smile on her face at the end of the ep uh, first episode. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Price, get your ass in here. Okay. <laughs> Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? What the hell? Ah! God, jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Okay. Oh, no, message I'm from Justin. For Frank. How low can I go? Let's just take a look at this. Oh, we have another. What's it? Yeah, yeah. Ever been to therapy? It's actually kind of awesome. And I don't think writing down your feelings and hugging and crying and shit. Hang on. Try reading that again, Andrew. Ever been to therapy? It's actually be it's actually kind of awesome. And I don't mean writing down your feelings and hugging and crying and shit. I'm talking about popping popping open the hood and getting your hands dirty. Rachel's awesome at it, because of course she is. We talked about my mum, David, the fire, my expulsion. Rachel didn't want to talk as much, but I got her to open up. I'm glad I did. By the end, everything, I don't know, seemed a little less broken, I guess. Speaking of, I found this gnarly chunk that I started fixing up. Who knows if I'll ever get it running, but for now, I'm glad just have a problem I might actually be able to solve. And maybe an escape vehicle. Stay tuned. Fixing trucks and fixing brains. Who needs school anyway? Chloe, the less broken fixer. Alright, let's take a look at this uh, message from Justin. Uh, okay. Dude, I heard you got expelled. Bad news. You mean good news? I'm stoked. Word. I'm home too. I finally got busted yesterday for smelling like weed. <laughs> My mum's making me go to her butt group. Oh, eck. Oh man, yeah. Yeah, that's not so cool. Alright, let's take a look at Frank. It's always hard to tell what Frank's thinking. Alright, let's take a look around and see what we have. We've got a book. Fight the power. Oregon search and seizure law. Your guide to understanding search warrants and how to protect your assets. Okay, yeah, because Frank could probably need that. What's this? Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. Hello, you're definitely not a meth lab, and I'm definitely not interested. Treble five, five double eight six. <laughs> Food spell. All right. Ugh, gross. Yes, yeah, pretty nasty, Frank. Don't you think you could actually sort that out? All right, what's in the cabinet? wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies. Beans? <laughs> yep. Bean Central. Alright, can I look at them if you don't mind? I want to look at the beans. That's an insane amount of beans. Hot sauce. Ooh, hot sauce. Hot sauce. For the man who enjoys searing pay with his drive through order. Yeah, ooh, grocery list. Oh, here's our shopping list, yes. <laughs> what does Frank really need to remember? Hmm, let's see, shall we? Beer, TP, milk. Uh, let's go home. <laughs> Got it. A real house. <laughs> Wishlist. Alright. 
as it's uh, now. This might not be the most gentle, but it is important. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going to be right happy about that. Uh, okay, cereal box. Can I take a look at those, or do I have to look at the weed? There we go. Part of a balanced breakfast. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. Uh, he's gonna say something. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Oh. Damn. <laughs> okay, Frank. So what's in the fridge? Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. Yeah, loads of steak. Alright, so into the room, I think. Do I really want to see Frank's bedroom? Not especially, but here we go. Oh. It's pretty trashed. Whoa, whoa. Hey there. Oh, it's Pompadour. It's okay, guy. Oh, shit. Pompadour, get up here. Oh, what a cutie. Pompadour. You little killer. Oh, he's gorgeous. <laughs> Oh, message from Elliot now. All right, uh, da, 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 let's take a look. Oh, try. Uh, for some reason, I can't go up or down. Let's just come out with it a minute. There we go, right. Tempest is going to be awesome, like awesomely bad, I mean. It's going to be hilarious. Hey, don't worry about being expelled, okay? Dude, I'm fine. All right, not much there. Oh, oh, we didn't look at his computer. Let's do that. Oh, Frank, next time, try Ask Miss Arcadia. Right, doggy help. Hi there, my doggy's three months old and he's still peeing everywhere. What do I do? Thanks. Puppies have accidents when they are scared. You have to stop scolding your puppy, Marianne. Thanks, but I don't scold him. Frank B. Alright. Then why is she having accidents? Raising a puppy requires patience. If you cannot control yourself, please look deeply and honestly at whether you are really able to have a dog. What's your problem, lady? I said I don't scold him. Well, there's no need to swear. I think it's pretty clear now that you do scold her, and worse. Oh. <laughs> All right, what else have we got here? Yeah. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Yeah. Okay, we'll go out backwards. Why won't puppy steak? How large was biggest cloud in history? Megan Fox single. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Property insurance fire illegal. Cloud formation, screensaver, Mila Kunis single, pisshead music. Everybody seems to be into pisshead. What age will dog eat steak? <laughs> uh, when? When shouldn't he? Well, I'm not saying like when shouldn't a dog eat steak. I mean, just give it dog food. Dream about clouds, meaning. All right, okay. What's next? Shit. The mill burned down. Oh dear. Subject, more fucking shit. Frank. I went back to the mill, shouldn't have, I'm fucking furious. Everything's burned, total massacre, can't stop thinking about it. Dogs didn't make it, that's 10k gone, just like that. Plus the stub fees we had coming. RF and that whole crew are gone, gonna be pissed. How am I supposed to come back from this with my fucking reputation intact? I can't think straight on this shit right now. I just want to find who started the fire and burn his fucking face, D. Ooh, okay. Jeez, that's an expensive dog. All right, subject, dog. Frank, you like the dog? I thought you would. That dog is special, man. Callie's buyer wanted him, and I said, fuck off, keep your 3K. 
I'm saving him for my buddy Frank. I mean it, everything you've done for me adds up way more than 3k. Don't thank me, this is from me to you. Just let me breed him later, Damon. Oh, Damon Merrick, I take it. Okay. So let's go and find this notebook. Oh, it's there, okay. Oh, look at the state of the chair. A throne fit for... Frank. Yeah, there's not much there. All flowery and crap. Guess Frank finally gave up on the steak. Yeah, feeding it dog food. Doesn't seem to be liking that too much either. Alright, what have we got here? Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. Mm. Alright. Frank's knife. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Yeah, I think Pompidou's made a real mess of that pillow. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. Yeah, you don't want to be sleeping on that anymore. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. Yeah, I'd say so. So let's uh, let's take it and see what he wants with it. I've got sneaky feeling he's going to have a job for us to do. I think it is. Stella. God, I paid that off. You are. Yeah, 175. Yeah, play paid off. Look. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to come back and bite us in the ass. Alright, so Drew owes 1050, Stella 100, Jackson 87. Alright. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Yeah, it is. Ooh, hang on. We have a hat. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hill. Who knew? And a betting slip. Ooh, oh, Frank. Man. I hope Argus and Bowser are okay. Argus versus Bowser, five to two. State is that twelve hundred or just two hundred? And he lost anyway. Mm. Not cool. All right, Frank. That dog makes Frank look almost nice. Oh, look at Pompidou. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Yeah, but it's not exactly a poodle. <laughs> okay, but he's not a poodle, Frank. No, he's not. But I'm gonna treat him like one. Okay. Only the best. So, who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV? Oh, yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Ooh, Frank. Oh, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go, shall we? Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. I bet <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Discreet. Well, oh god. You made no promises. It's not That's, like you signed oh, a confidentiality no. agreement. You can be less discreet this one time. Nope. I protect my clients. I think that's the Happy first customers one. Are the foundation I've of not got. Business. Uh, alright, let's talk about these dream clouds here. Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too. See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Uh, oh god. Hang myself out of boredom. Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. All right. Well, I guess you're not asking for life or death information here. Uh, what? What I imagine will be worse. You've already crossed over. Listen to your six ten. Oh, you know what yeah. I joke about being oh, a no. customer? Failed I'm it. Kind of not. Oh, joking. maybe not. Deep down in your gut, I think you know you can totally trust me. I don't know. 
Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. So we did manage it. That's all right. A few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Hmm, interesting. for telling me. So her name's Sarah. I wish we found something out. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Oh, read some stuff about Crazy. it on his Frank computer. Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. So, how about you? I don't really want to ask about that money. Money from what? Because, yeah. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway. You and I have shit to discuss. I've yeah, got a little that? job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? Uh, yeah, Drew we know him. Nor? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? No, we never really talk, but he is a douchebag. Yeah. No, I never talk to him. Or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room. Find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, that doesn't really feel right. Oh, what's in it for me? What's in it for me? Go on. Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Oh. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. That's a nice What's start to our escape fund. It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still well, easier you. for you to go on campus than for me. Well, that's probably true. That's probably you true. You can't even do this price. A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay with a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. It's a start. Good it's deal. a start. I'm sure we can do this. No problem. Yeah, right. Something's going to go wrong. Because it always does. Mm.